What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the live stream. It is a Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. A little bit of a late start this morning. But we're going to go a little longer than usual, too. So this could end up... I was hoping for like a 12-hour live stream. That's probably not going to happen today. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. I don't plan on staying up until past midnight where it is for me. But, honestly, you never know. We'll just have to see. I do know at some point I need to take a break to feed the dog and feed myself. So maybe we'll take a little, like, 10, 20-minute break, about five hours from now. But we'll have to see how YouTube behaves, too. Will YouTube allow me to stay connected? To be honest, we're not off to a great start here. It's not letting me do what I want to do on the computer in the background here. Still trying to get set up. So bear with me while I do that. If you're watching this on the replay, and you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like Red Dead content, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Turn those notifications on and send them to all. I do pretty much weekday live streams every day. Anywhere between four to six hours. Today, again, we're going to try going a little longer than that. Yesterday, we went a little shorter than that. So, it all kind of bounces out in the end. But... Again, if you're someone who likes Red Dead content and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do other content as well. You know, mostly Red Dead Online, Red Dead 2, even did a Red Dead 1 story playthrough recently. Um, but I do a bunch of other stuff too. Horizon, I got some videos I'm working on for Horizon Forbidden West, Horizon Zero Dawn. Recently did a Prince of Persia Lost Crown playthrough. What else? Assassin's Creed, God of War. Tons of video game content here on the channel, so, again, hit that subscribe button if you're interested. Uh, today we are doing a live stream, roughly, I don't know, we're going to do some dailies. We're going to start with some dailies. We're going to do some other stuff as well, but for the most part it's going to be dailies, and then we'll just see where it takes us. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and start, get a look at these dailies for Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. On a general, we have five American ginseng picked. One Anthony Foreman mission complete. Five common bull rush picked. Five drinks ordered at a saloon. Three elk skinned. One place top three in a showdown. And three player kills in dead eye in a showdown. So I'm probably going to skip these bottom two today. Uh, it's my point one week again. The place top three. I mean, I think if you're on a winning team, you get it. So we'll see what happens, but... No promises on the PvP stuff. The other stuff is all pretty easy. We should get that done easily enough. Uh, under roll challenges, mine may look a little different from yours. I'm a max rank in all rolls, so if you are not, you may see different challenges. You may only even see one challenge, depending on how far along you are in terms of ranking up your roll. Uh, so, Bounty Hunter, we've got two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth Posters. One bounty hunt complete with five minutes or more left. That one can bug a little bit. Try to do it with six minutes or more left. Two bounty targets. No, sorry, yeah. Two, two bounty targets taken down with bolus. So, not bad bounty hunter roll challenges today. Trader, six large animal carcasses donated to Crips. Seven medium animal carcasses donated to Crips. And one resupply completed with five minutes left. I think I, I, think I do actually need a resupply. So, I might actually start with that. Get Crips working. Uh, one antique alcohol drunk. Uh, this is for collector. One antique alcohol drunk. Three collectibles looted from non-player enemies. And three collector maps used. Moonshine or two moonshine bar drunken player interaction. Three moonshine bootlegger missions completed. One moonshine sold with at least 18 bottles intact. And last but not least, naturalist seven crafted or coked at wilderness camp. Two hardy tonics used when too hot or too cold, and one, sorry, two legendary animals found using thermals. I did get that one as soon as I loaded in today. Uh, well, not as soon as I loaded in, but as soon as I got back to camp while I was waiting for uh, Lady Outlaws and the kids to head off. I was just kind of sitting in camp, and I noticed that the Tatanka Bison was right behind where my tent is right now. So, use the pheromone. We'll see if we get the second one. It's rare that I get two legendary animals found using pheromones. Uh, the other thing I got was, I'm over by Carmody Dell, 
So this homestead robbery mission for Blood Money Crime spawned in, and we're now up to 96 out of 100, so we're getting close to being able to reset that. We'll go through these quickly here, too. Small animals killed, though I doubt we'll do anything with that today, given that the criteria for trader dailies is large animals and mediums. Uh, we'll get one free roam mission complete, because we're going to do an Anthony Foreman, which will also help our Blood Money crit mission complete. I don't know if everyone knows that. If you do a... Regular stranger uh, mission from Anthony Foreman, it counts as uh, blood money as far as awards go. And I think it actually counts when it's a daily, too. So, uh, 865 resupply missions, we talked about that. We'll probably get at least one today. Uh, Going to try to focus a little more on melee kills and executions, as well as sniper kills, um, sniper headshots specifically. But these two, like, we're done with everything else. I've done my pistols kills. I've done all my revolver kills. Rifle repeater, shotgun kills. Pretty much everything is done, so... Basically gonna be a lot of melee today, I think. Uh, 845 miles traveled. We'll see how, how, how far we get today with that one. Probably won't get to 1,000. I don't think I've ever done 155 miles in a single session. Uh, there's Reblemon and Crimes we talked about. May get some wanted level stuff going on, depending on what we do for Anthony Foreman. See about the ambushes, and then products sold to a butcher that kind of building a little bit too. So keep an eye on a few things here today. But let's get started. Back to general. We're looking for some American ginseng. I, th I think, check the map here, but I think there's some right over here by Emerald Station and Emerald Ranch. Actually, it's Heartland Overflow. It's good for that and for Common Bull Rush. So let's go over here. Let's go over to uh, Heartland Overflow. We're looking for American ginseng. Common bull rush. I wish there were some free roam player kill things today. Too many showdowns recently. I, I like the free roam PvP better than the showdown PvP stuff. Not that I like either one of them. But if I were forced to pick, I would say the free roam events are better than showdowns. But yeah, a bit of an odd start time for me. I thought it would only be about an hour late today instead of being four and a half hours late, but I wanted to make sure everybody was out of the house before I started streaming. Alright, Bull Rush and American Ginseng. There's some Bull Rush. Can I take it? No, I have too many. Can I actually? I don't think I can eat Bull Rush. We're gonna find out. No. So we need to go into our satchel. Find out where it is exactly. I think it's under ingredients. Yeah, it looks like a cattail right here. We call them cattails where I'm from. You can eat them from here, but at this point, why would you just discard five of them? One, two, three. Just those three here. Yeah. All right, and then what's down here? What's over here? Ginseng? Sweet. American ginseng. There's one of those. American ginseng will be a little... Not a little, a lot more scattered than most plants. So we'll probably get the common bull rush here quickly, and then... Ginseng will take us just a little bit longer. Still not anything too challenging, I don't think. And again, like I said, there's a, blunt, a bunch in the area here. Let me mark a few more of them. So these are common kind of bull rush daily. Uh, it is day one again, so yeah, day, day one of seven. I did want to see, though. That's not what I wanted to see. I want to look up... The Streak Award. Weekly Streaks. So it's, it's technically last week was 12. I get it this week, this will be 13. So that award, man, that's that's a tough one. 
Uh, map. Let's see, we're gonna go... There's one here. There should be two. Three. Four. And five. And we'll see if we need to check the sixth spot. Sometimes these, um... Herb and plant picking dailies, they bug a little bit. And you'll count five in your head, but the game will only give you credit for like four. So occasionally you have to actually pick six of them. Should be another one around here. It's number two. Overflow. Move Shiner responded behind me. Let's go do that. We said melee today, right? <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna get interesting. I don't wanna travel too far and have the thing spawn away from spawn uh, spawn out. I don't know why I need dead eye. Melee and executions. on Toxic Moonshine. Dare you. You regretting this yet? Keep throwing Toxic Moonshine and running away. Fight me like a man. With a knife. Alright. See if we get any... Yeah, there you go. Nice. I was just about to say, see if we get any uh, lootables for these guys. Ginseng right there, that didn't count though, huh? <laughs> Maybe it did. Uh, no. Pick two. So you have to, you have to actually pick them. It's interesting though, that's one thing I always wonder, like if you looted it, would it count? Punisher, get out of the way, dude. So the first guy had an alcohol bottle on him. Don't see anything yet from anybody else. Oh, there's one. It's two collectibles. Agarita. Uh No, I'm gonna do all that. There's two fire bottle on these.
That should be one of three bootleg missions. Took it out of the red zone. Number four. And should be it. Let's see. Nice. Five American ginseng picked. If you need a sixth one, there's one on this road right here. For some reason, you know, like I said, sometimes it bugs out when you pick five of them. Maybe just gotta remove my markers. Alright, uh, Anthony Foreman mission complete. Let's go do that. Let's go see Anthony. Anthony Foreman has two locations, one just outside the fast shelf of Rhodes. He's also in Saint Denis, but he's a little far from the fast travel. I'm not sure why I got off my horses now. But I like the Rhodes location better. He's literally right next to the fast shovel. Time to pick up some ammo. Not that I'm gonna use any. We'll also take a look at this week's Great Madame Scott. Nazar weekly collectible set. Back, sir. Warriors tokens. See what all that entails and whether or not I think it's worth it. I'm gonna go and say probably not. I have two of three. Knight of Swords probably is not bad. It's a quartz arrowhead, dude. If you have quartz arrowheads and you haven't completed your arrowhead sets. This is not going to be worth it. The Coral Ring, Harlan Coral Ring, is probably not bad. And the Knight of Swords is going to be on the map every day this week. But this Quartz Arrowhead, this is like one of the two rarest arrowheads in the game. Which is why I don't even have any on me right now. Round by train. Can you imagine? Where the hell did they get a train? Harlan Coral Ring is not bad. They have six of them. But yeah, don't. Don't waste your quartz arrowheads on this. Save it and turn an arrowhead set in instead. So, there are f there's like maybe two or three Mab Nazar sets that I think are worth it. And there's a whole bunch that don't make sense. That one definitely doesn't make any sense. Don't do that one. All right, what does Anthony want us to do? Martelli I'm going to guess that we're going to go destroy supplies. That's usually one of the easiest things to do in this game. So like I said before, top of the stream, free roam missions count as blood money missions as far as so. awards go. So come down here and just grab a regular free roam mission. Uh, let's do destroy supplies. All right. I'm assuming you're good with your letters. Most is nowadays. Follow this. Some instructions. Payment will follow. Rival. Oh, nice. It's Clement's point one, man. That's sweet. I don't have to go to the town and cause a scene. Um, before we wait for Punisher to get over here, just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So, under my pinned 
right? I have these free realm missions. When we're done with this, that should say 770. But more importantly, this Blood Money Crime one should say uh, 97. So if you do... Like, you don't have to do Blood Money Crimes. You can do free roam, any stranger mission, free roam mission from a Blood Money Giver. Either Anthony Foreman or Sean, Joe or James Langton. And, and you'll get credit for a Blood Money Crime mission. And those Blood Money Crime missions, you know, 100, that's not terrible. Like, as you can see, the free roam one, you gotta do 1,000 in order to get the award reset. Blood Money Crime ones is only 100 in reset. It's not, it's not bad. In fact, while we're riding over. I know I've reset this one at least a couple times. Yeah, so if I can get three more after this Anthony Foreman mission, we'll be about halfway, so you can see the difference there. Oh, I just, I just sat that skunk, dude. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, watch out for these closes. Whoa, no, bird got shot out of the sky? Did I see that right? Okay, a bird got shot out of the sky. Dude, no animal is safe. Some of these guys are going to be on horses, so unless they get off of the horses, might have to throw them with Still looking for one more collectible for a dead body. Might as well take the skunk pelt after I stabbed it. I gotta try something here. Throw knives. Does this work? No. <laughs> Bang! Whoa! Nope, the, the bird did fall out of the sky. I did not do that. That's a raven. Three star raven. Nice. So I need to use the guns a little bit here. Unless I wanted to use throwing, uh, Fire bottles, which I don't. Let them destroy the supplies? Okay. You say so. Uh, if you're looking to grind gold, you're going to want to let this, let this drain, this timer drain a little more. Um, every three minutes is 0 0.08 gold. So, I'm going to, first I'm going to let it get down to nine. But you're going to want to let it go a little further than that. If you're looking for gold.
Is there a lantern or something I can shoot instead of just... There's something in the back of the wagon. No. Interesting. I'm going to let go down 20 more seconds or so. Because it started at 15. So 6 minutes will be 0 0.16. Plus we get to 0.25. Or no, 0 0.10 for the daily. But yeah, up to 12 minutes every 3 minutes is 0 0.08. And then it changes to 4 minutes. So it's only worth 0 0.04. So that sweet spot is that 12 minute mark. In this case, I don't care. I'm not grinding for gold. But if you are, you should do at least 12 minutes. 0.16. 500 XP, man. They are uh, double. Double XP and double money? Let me see. Let me check the newswire. I forgot already. It's been a week. <laughs> uh, Stranger Missions. Actually, it's, it's only Land of Opportunity Missions? That's not right. Is that, did I really get 500 XP just for that? Why do I feel like that's a bonus? That's something that shouldn't be. So funeral runs are four times. Telegram missions are three times. Later opportunity missions are three times, but I didn't think strangers counted. And that, that maybe that's 500 XP for six minutes. I don't know, that seems high. Hmm. Well, we'll take it. All right, so Anthony Foreman mission is completed. I think the last thing we need to do is hunt some elk. Oh, no, we need to go get drunk. Well, order drinks. We don't necessarily need to drink them. Let's head into Rhodes. We'll go to the parlor house. All right? Five drinks ordered at a saloon. You don't even need to, you don't even need to drink them. Just order them. <laughs> Chuck them at somebody. <laughs> uh, Rhodes parlor house is right here. So saloons, there's two in Valentine. One in Armadillo, Tumbleweed, one in Blackwater, the one in Rhodes I'm going to, two in Sound the Knee, and I think Van Horn and Annisburg are dry. So you don't have to go to the Rhodes Parlor House, you can really go anywhere. Any, any saloon as you see fit. You can find them here on your map too. On your map, hit the square button for index, and then saloon. There's nine total, so that's the one in Rhodes I'm going to, one in Saint Denis, one in Blackwater, second one in Saint Denis, Valentine, Valentine. Oh, there's one in Van Horn, one in Armadillo, and one in Tumbleweed. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Welcome. was saying that he wasn't too impressed with uh, the XP from some of these the second time through. Even though they're four times. I still say it's good XP though. 2000 XP for a few minutes of your time is not bad. 2500, 2000, depending on where you come in, I think. Maybe how many players there are? I don't know. But four times XP after your movements is really good. Well now, the absent traveler returns. What are you in the market for? Give me a beer so I can throw the bottle at somebody. Ready? Check this out. It says drop. He chucks it. He actually doesn't really throw it that bad. <laughs> drink up. Oh, I'm doing just fine, thank you. Maybe it's after they drink it that they chuck it? Let me see here. We're gonna we're actually take a Enjoy. sip. Enjoy! See if he just chucks it. That's what it was. You got a little more energy behind it if you actually Cheers drink it. To you. And then one more. Because that's We're our five. And our daily. Like I said, 
don't have to go to Rhodes. I feel free to go to one of the other ones. All right, three elk skinned. You know, elk can be found at a pretty good amount of places north, the northern part of the map. So like, northern Roanoke Ridge, you'll find some. Cumberland Forest is actually really good. There's Bab Nazar, she's still there today, after yesterday. And then the valley, big valley I like to use for, for elk hunting as well. Um, let's try Cumberland Forest first, this is a little bit closer. And we'll see if we get our three. And then... <laughs> I love wrecking stuff. <laughs> if we don't find our elk in Cumberland Forest, we'll head over to Big Valley. I just think Cumberland Forest is a little easier to get to. Fast travel to Valentine. It's close. Uh, big Valley area where the elk are. You have to fast travel to Strawberry, or if you have a camp there, I guess it's easier. But usually, you have to travel fast travel to Strawberry and then just a little bit of a ride to get there. Nighttime in the forest, there'll be wolves. So, be prepared to deal with that. Might take away from some of your elk hunting. Uh, also, tall trees is good. Tall trees is a good spot for elk hunting. Let's start over here. So we got some wolves to deal with. You just gotta skin them. Once you get the prompt. There we go. Daily for that. The wolf wants to die too, it can. So there's a couple different packs. A pack up that way. And a couple over there, maybe. Go ahead and skin these as well. Take the pelts and the hearts and sell them to the butcher.
the pack down over there, just growling and barking. I saw him until it changed my view. Now, was it a three star? Particle on two stars. Not a clean kill. Let's get a shot right in the eyeball. You actually choosing to look like that? <laughs> yep. Alright. I'm just gonna sell some stuff to the butcher. So it's probably going to be it for general dailies. Still have to place top three in a showdown. Player kills in dead eye. We'll see. Maybe later in the stream we'll do some PvP. But I think for now I'm going to turn my attention towards roll dailies. To sell this stuff to the butcher. Start doing some of that stuff. Easy general dailies other than the PvP today. Those, those five, we kind of knocked those out. Good morning. Between the bull rush and the ginseng. The drinks. Pretty easy. Hell is your problem? What's it to be? So, stringy meat. Cyclones. Raven feathers. The skunk I stabbed. I ain't got much money for stuff like this. Venison meat. Wolf hearts. Any bird meat. That's probably from the pelicans or the herons yesterday. <laughs> Dime a dozen these days. These are elk pelt. A couple perfect wolf pelts. Poor wolf pelt. And a good wolf pelt. Hey Sly, how's it going? Um Once I get a little closer to a thousand, we'll just buy some meat and sell it right back. Oh, yeah, and as far as the blood money goes, there's your 97, right? So we got the 770 on the free room. 97. Uh, what are we doing for naturalists today? Craft under wilderness camp. Too hard to talk, so too hard to cold. We'll hold on to the craft under wilderness camp. One we're going to set one up at some point anyway. Moonshiner. Let's go to the Moonshine Bar. Do the door trick for the Dragon Player interaction. We'll sell our Moonshine, which we should be able to do with 18 bottles intact. For those of you who may be wondering, how can I get Drunken Player interaction? I don't have any friends to play with. I'll show you how. It's actually pretty easy. Might even be easier than waiting for your friends to show up if you do have friends. Check. We're going 
gonna stand right at the base of the door. Bottom right hand corner it says enter shack to hold triangle. The second that fills up, you're gonna start to spam the circle button. On Xbox, corresponding buttons are Y and B. So you're, when you're holding the Y button down, just start spamming B. Your player will make like a little fist. If you get the fist, it means you did it right. So check it out. There we go, one of two. Then you just back out and do the same thing all over again. Stand on the platform. Hold on. Uh, actually, let's see if this works with the moonshiner spawning. It does it, it bugs when the moonshine Roblox spawns in down there. Nope, I got it. So there's your moonshine uh, drunken player interaction. Nice little trick. Get ready for battle. Out the roadblock. This will be bootlegger two of three, actually. And it will clear the way. No, <laughs> it'd be great if it cleared the way for your moonshine. But we'll get more melee kills and executions here. Let's we'll see if we can reset the executions one before the end of the stream today. Yeah, it's cool. I didn't come up with that. I wish I could take credit for it. But I feel like it, it's worth it to show it every time it's a daily, because you never know who may not be aware of it. You did, yeah, so you, and you've been playing for a long time, so. Not just the first timers that need to see that. I'm gonna totally die trying to do all this melee. Let's clear a little room here so we're getting unloaded up. Yeah, I'm gonna die. That was cool, man. Strange Medicine popped that bad boy right back up. <laughs> Even though I just slipped the dude's throat, train of medicine kicked in there. You're done here. Why am I climbing on a rock? What? <laughs> He's putting these rocks in my way. Still take you. Alright, we got some time off guys here. Oh, not that guy. Look how I just cut the middle. I need that back. These guys are on horses. I'm gonna shot my hat off. Seems to be working today. That's a good shot. Dude, every single one of these guys, melee or the time on the because they were on horses. Looks kind of like it could be my hat. It's flashing, like how mine just flash, but that's not my hat.
my hat? Yeah. Right? It is my hat. Dang! I wasn't even sure. I just saw a pick up hat. I figured what the heck. Pick up the hat. Alright, let's go do this delivery. 18 bottles and tie. AJ, how's it going? Welcome. Whoa, something was chasing after me, getting ready to run me down. Like a big buck or something. And I had to turn the other way, because I went in the shack. I have finished this batch. We can sell it when you like. Sell I would like uh, to sell it right now. Now. We have a batch ready for shipment, okay? I can trust you, I know. You are not like the rest, uh, monteur, uh, tricheur. <laughs> but uh, when I give a batch to you, I know you will guard it with your life. You will not let a little thing like a barrage of bullets uh, get in your way, huh? When I tell you these are valuable customers, you will look after every last jug. So, they are yours. Allez-y. All right, right back down that. These are the new Stop at the fence and sell us a few items. Maybe we'll get a uh, legendary boar to spawn in down that way. Let's see. That should give us our 18 bottles. Intact. Nice. Let's see what I'd sell this to. Oh, I got some teeth. Nice. We just set this, we just reset this award the other day, so I don't expect that to be very high. Let's make sure I've got a third tomahawk. Also, apparently, missing some dynamite fire bottles. Alright, let's see. Treasure map? On the tree down here? Boar somewhere over this way. 
What do you got for me? Come on, game. What do you got for me? No treasure map. I don't see any boar either. Let's go back and start another batch. Let's see what else we can do. Ten dollar mash price is killer. Oh, good. We got a good price here. <laughs> Marcel's excited about it. For good. A sure. uh, fine uh, aroma. I would drink this myself. A good right. saying, huh? Quick pulse check on the rolls. We can do this one next. Seven crafts under cooked in a wilderness camp. Moonshiner, we need one more bootleg. Oh, we haven't drank alcohol, anti alcohol yet. Let's do that. Uh, eight of those. Yeah, we'll do that one. So that's done. Zero of three collectibles looted from non player enemies. That must be bugging out, because I got an alcohol bottle and an agarita before that very first bootleg mission we did. No? Yeah, Agarita. I have a list of and new picked up one of these you. Grand Corazones. So that that is bugging. Are you kidding me? A collector daily challenge is bugging out. Collectibles looted from non-player enemies. That was on the plateau, over by Heartland Overflow. And I and I said, wow, we got two or three already, and it's not giving me any credit for it. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. That's not cool. That's like one of the easier dailies to do, especially the way that I do it with roaming around the map and getting all kinds of hideouts and stuff like that. That's wild that that's not working. Hey, Ghost, how's it going? Welcome. All right, so with that being said, let's do our crafting at a wilderness camp. Probably just do small game arrows, unless I have the stuff for horse mail, which I don't think I do. Oh, I do. Look at that. I stand corrected. Just do seven of these. Been bugging out for you too? Weird, man. I hadn't. That's the first time I've seen that. There you go. That's what Rockstar broke by fixing the stable bug. <laughs> We're about to camp. We need to do a resupply, not only for a daily, but also because we need to do a resupply. That sucks, man. That's usually a pretty easy daily to do. That that bothers me. But there's your seven of seven craft at a wilderness camp. I don't think I fired any shots, so I don't know why. Do I even have anything to pick up here? The delivery box? Lockbox? What am I picking up? I did fire some shots. I fired some shots at, uh... Lanterns. For that Anthony Foreman mission. Alright, let's see what Crips needs us to do for a resupply. Okay. Yeah, that sucks, Apparently dude. Apparently my contact has some more goods to trade in. If we can hunt and bring him some birds. I know. Don't ask me what he wants them for. Best just to keep him happy, I reckon. <laughs> I mean, we need the supplies. I'm sure you can handle that, right? Wild turkeys. Should be able to find some right by where the trader is. by Carmen Dells is usually a pretty good spot for turkeys.
probably overkill if I were hunting that for my own self. I would probably use a varmint rifle. Bolts, probably a little bit too powerful, but it's not for me. So, I don't really care. No, dude, take the thing off the horse before you start walking away. There you go. Well, no point dawdling around here. This will do me nicely. You can uh, grab yourself those supplies. Food. Out of the way, rabbit. Bing. At least you brought some of it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought all of it back. I don't know what you're talking about, Chris. Just out of the beer room. Alright, let's see. That makes five of nine on the roll challenges. Jeez. Might not get the nine today. Especially with this one bugged. Let's do a little hunting. Large animals, small, or uh, large animals, medium animals. Right? Camp could, eh, camp could use a little help. Let's go get some deer. Oh, well, let me go to Amarillo. I guess because I'm too close. That's one negative of fast travel being free. I would rather just pay a dollar. see it quite a bit when I load in on that uh, other side of the map close to Blackwater too where it's like um, like I used to I can just pay a dollar to go to Blackwater but I can't when it's free it won't let me 
travel there at all. Six large, seven medium, so I'll take whatever we can get. Three star rack, I work out. Right outside of camp. It's an easy one. Drop these two guys off. Since we're here. Supplies are looking healthy right now. That's top notch. No, this is top excellent. Notch. Thank you. All right, so those are the first two mediums. Too. I feel like I might have a cougar in there from yesterday. Cougar two. something in there. Panther. Sweet. Perfect panther though, man. That might put me too close to the uh, limit. But counts as a large, so it's good. Let's see how much of this actually fits. I feel like we're way over. 
probably just a panther. <laughs> Supplies are good. I'm a happy man. Oh, not too bad. This is good quality. Okay, this will have to do. Oh, all the ducks are gonna make it this way then. Very nice. Four large. So maybe something else small over there. Or medium, I guess. I'll finish off my mediums. Okay. Let me start right it. Alright, so that should be mediums done. stock for the time being. Good stuff. Nice. Guess beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. Alright, so there's your seven mediums. We need two more large. Might as well take our time with it. But actually, I'll just throw a bunch of them into that uh, hunting wagon, and maybe we'll come back later. Don't know what we do in our next resupply. First, we gotta find them. Two. Crips definitely does not have room for two large. Yeah. Even if they're super poor quality. There's one. Actually, there's two. So this will be our six large animals. It's uh, just not gonna let me donate them right now. So we'll, we'll come back a little later in the stream. Whenever Crips is ready for us to do a resupply, and at that point we'll just donate these last two and finish off that daily. Hey Shelly, how's it going?
Alright, so with that one, and the bootlegger two, and then maybe a second legendary animal with the pheromone, I'm going to say we're in pretty good shape for our dailies. Right? One, maybe. Two, maybe. And then this one would be three, and we'd be done. So... I don't know though, with this uh, collector one bugging out. We may only get eight of nine today. And I'm okay with that. I say, let's start our roaming around. Looking for coins, specific coins. We'll do hideouts and bootleg missions and things like that. But let's, let's get a start on our roaming around. Our daily ride across the map. Might even be a hideout right here by the time we get there. Let's see. Yeah. Fast shot with tumbleweed. Yeah. And yeah, we'll just make sure we come back to Crips at some point. This what happens when we spawn in the tumbleweed. Nothing there today. Interesting. Wonder if we're gonna have trouble getting this third leg machine. I'm uh, doing good, thank you. A little bit of a late start today. Actually, even later than I thought it was gonna be. Figured I'd be like an hour late, but I didn't get started until about an hour ago. So, really late start. But I have like no commitments today. Feed the dog at like five o'clock. Feed myself. Make sure I stay not hungry. <laughs> but, uh, we should be able to go a little longer if we need to. Let's we'll see how long this roaming around takes today. Uh, I talked about maybe doing a marathon stream yesterday. We'll see about, we'll see about that. defense up the way. That's interesting. That'll be an interesting thing to do. Because you can't do those melee. Or with a throwing weapon. I don't think I'm skilled enough to do it with a sniper rifle, but I guess we're going to find out. I feel like the campers are going to die unless I use regular weapons. Yeah, I mean, I'm not good enough at a stationary target. You know what? Just do this. So we'll save our melee and executions for other events. <laughs>
Hey Tech, how's it going? Welcome. Pop and say hi, already by I can't say. Appreciate you popping in. Hope you have a great day. I definitely still want to do these things. I don't want to skip them. Just to keep it melee. I'm just going to have to do it that way. I don't have enough throwing carry capacity. If I had like infinite tomahawks, I would have just done that, but. I'd constantly be getting off the horse to pick up tomahawks. I feel like that would put the campers at risk. Another collectible should be my third one. But it's not counting for some reason. There you go, I gotta hide out down there. That I can do. For God's sake! Oh, that one counted. Why did that one just just now count? Oh, Capitale! Tech reminded everyone to hit the like button. Much appreciated. Yeah, if you hit the like button for me, great. Really helps out the channel. Helps out the video. Which ultimately helps out the channel, so. A like and a subscribe are always appreciated. If you're new, hit that subscribe. Whether you're new or old, hit the like. And let's get ready to do this melee style. Melee and throwing weapons for the guys that are on the horse. And the stupid thing, I'm gonna die over here. Get on. Oh, I got him! Nice, just in time. You're better off as a corpse. You'll never get out alive. Take that, bro. How come it didn't hurt him at all? This is ugly for you. Oh, I didn't take my knife out? I took my knife out. Time now, one at a time. Any requests for the undertaker? Okay, your turn. <laughs> Dude, this guy. <laughs> Angle of the hill and the stairs saved this guy twice. Where does this dude go? Go
Oh, that guy was on a horse, but he got off. Nice. What? Dude, the freaking explosives respawned in? That's ridiculous. Hell no, I'm not sparing that dude. It's all about executions right now. Executions and melee. Name of the game. We've traded in our shotgun headshots for executions and melee. That should count as a collectible because it was a tooth. It's weird how those weren't counting, and I fast traveled, and now they're counting. Cool, man. Might actually get 9 for 9 after all. Got that daily. It's my probably my sixth collectible, fifth collectible. But they just they just now come to the three. I had to come to the desert first. Apparently, I don't know. It's weird. But I'll take it. Better late than never. Which one of these guys knocked off my hat? Ooh, 13 more. Yeah, we're about to reset today. I would imagine we're going to get to reset that one. Before the end of the stream.
Another gold eagle. That'll make three, I think. Kinda rare. Not as rare, apparently, as a New York token or a Liberty Quarter. 1792 Liberty Quarter. But, not too bad. We were lacking in those for a while. And now we got three of them. I'll take it. Fine morning, partner. Aubrey Onyx Ring. Alright, over towards Fort Mercer. Kind of like around there. Entirely sure why I stopped her. There's no bootleg mission or anything. Did it spawn behind us? Yeah. And then I went too far and spawned away. What happened there? It's weird. I'm trying to get some Skittles. Skittles gummies.
don't think that's helpful that our characters piss at the horse. It's out of shape because of the snake. It's like the exact opposite of what you want to do. <laughs> I imagine. That is <laughs> the alarm for when I'm supposed to go pick up the kids on a regular day. Normally I snooze it for a couple times, but today we'll just turn it right off. I'm surprised that even went off. Did I not mute my phone? Does it not matter if you mute your phone? It doesn't. It's muted. My alarm's still went off. Interesting. I kind of actually like that feature. Well done, Apple. here today? No. Alright. Up to heading instead. Right about here. Yes, yeah, so the girls and Nana and Lady Outlaw. for the next two days. No obligations other than tomorrow night. Maybe if the weather holds up, it might go do something. But yeah, just me and the dog hanging out. Living the dream. Not really. But it's been a while since we did the bachelor thing. Me and the four-legged one. I can't even remember the last time we were home alone. Just me and the doggo. As Lady Outlaws was leaving, she was like, what are you going to do? Like, a whole lot of playing video games, just like I always do. <laughs> Nothing really changes for me, man. I'll do this for as long as I can, as long as the you know we got the content to keep the stream alive. Um, and if for some reason I feel compelled, like if the game is just not throwing hideouts and stuff at me today, maybe we end a little early, and maybe we don't go for nine hours or whatever. And at that point, I would hop back into Forbidden West. So. Always doing something, either on the computer or in the video game world. Till baseball season, which starts in like another week and a half. At that point, baseball and softball become life. Which, you know. Major League Baseball already started, but Little Leagues and stuff like that don't get started up this way until end of April. Nice day for it today. I should be outside instead of sitting here 
streaming. I'm talking about marathon streams. It's like 70 degrees outside for the first time this year. Fifties for my moonshine. Another batch is ready to go. I'm not gonna deliver it, but that's one of those things like I tell people all the time, like or you probably hear me say all the time. You know, if you're new to the game, got the moonshine roll, but you're not staying on top of your deliveries every so often, uh, you know, that's a, that's a mistake to me. I think you should be if you're wanting to get a ton of XP and rank up, that's a great way to do it. You don't actually have to do anything for about 45 minutes, and then you go in and do like a two minute delivery. <laughs> like, most of the other roles, you have to actively seek out either XP or gold or money. Moonshine, it's like, no, you go ahead and do your thing. We'll, we'll cook it for you. <laughs> thousand XP every 45 minutes while you're out doing other things is great. You know, most of the time I would be out collecting like I am now. As soon as that XP went off, showing me that my moonshine is done, I'd head back to moonshine and do a delivery. I don't do it anymore because I don't need the XP that much anymore. Rank 1,000. Nor do I really need the money. 2 million. RDO. But for a long time that's how I did it. I feel like a lot of people sleep on that. A lot of people sleep on moonshine. XP. I mean, you could even do, if you do Poison Poppy instead of Berry Cobbler, you could do like 1200. You just gotta have a buyer. our third and final bootleg. Let's go do it. Yeah. Try to do another melee style. I need 13 more, count them down. 12. Make a better corpse than a man. Great. And where is he? Two. 
Hey, yeehaw, how's it going? Yeehaw! <laughs> Counting down to two. Oh, actually, it's one. <laughs> it is one shy. This is my third bootlegger of the day, though. That's kind of nice. I kind of like it, this melee and throwing weapons thing on the I can't lose sight of my sniper rifle stuff though. I need to figure out a good melee build too. I'm assuming slippery. Problem is, then the fight is hard to go. Not melee. It could get interesting. <laughs> Should take a look at that though. Let me take a look at that while it's top of mind. Someone's steady. He can't run, so no. While dead eyes active, enemies are significantly less accurate when shooting at you. And you're actually Accuracy is going to reduce. Who the hell cares? Let's do that. Strange medicine will keep on. Eye for an eye, I don't need because I'm not getting headshots. We can put on something defensive. Um, what's the. Of single purpose. I like that one. Take much less damage. That one's good too, but there's another one I'm thinking of. What's. Uh, Fight another day, take much less damage from bullets while sprinting. I mean, what's that one I was thinking of? As far as damage cards, you don't really need anything. What's the one. Maybe I just do full me on, once on. Never that one's a PvP card. Take much less damage from bullets while sprinting. But I'm gonna have like them. I'd rather have this one. There may be a better build here, but let's see how this goes. I forget what I used for, like, Knives Out, or whenever we did, like, Fists Only CTAs. <laughs> Slippery may not even make any sense, considering I'm probably gonna be not using Dead Eye. I wish we could swap out, actually, not have a dead eye card. I'd rather have another one of the other cards. But they make you pick a dead eye, so. So be it.
just north of Thieves. Kind of like around. It'll be in like this area of the road. We'll just go there. I don't want to go the way it's telling me to go. There's our resupply notification, so we can certainly drop those two deer off now to complete that one daily. Is that the last one we need now that we got the three collectibles? Do we actually get the three collectibles? I know we got two. I think we got a third one. But I don't remember. I would have stayed in the cinematic. up the hill ways here is another one. Come on.
Alright, then under the windmill in the plains. Coin spot. I'm at eight. So those last two, that freaking collector one came through after all. Put those last two deer in, the crypts, and it's a nine for nine day. Then I gotta decide if I wanna do the PvP. Giant UFO about to descend. <laughs> cool, man. The lighting in this game has always impressed me. Liberty Quarter, hello, you little beauty. That was just a New York token. Alright, we gotta go up by Fort Riggs, kinda. Riggs Station, Strawberry, Fort Riggs, that, that area. Um, in the woods is like a random metal tether. But before I do that, I'm gonna go back to camp. We'll do this resupply. Drop off these two deer I got sitting in my hunting wagon. And then we'll come back to the roaming around kind of stuff. So I bumped into a fella in town, told me he was having some problems with a gang around here. Uh, he's also got some supplies we could use, so I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone? You help him out, he helps I don't care how many birds it is, as long as we can execute one. Even needs to get robbed. I mean, one execution. That's right up the road here. I'm not even going to bring down the horse. Let's run there. That chair, that is. So that's not the closest I've had this one spawn in. One time it spawned in, like, literally right on top of the It's pretty wild. Alright, there's my thousand. So let's switch to this. Oh! Oh, okay! Feast 
Slippery, I think I might. My idiot brother's a better shot than you. Are they talking to me? Keep driving them back. You're the one who needed rescue. Look, man, just because I'm using tomahawks, don't judge me. They're about to kill this guy. In your grave already. Don't kill the supplier. Did they kill him? Oh, nice. I sure am glad you showed up when you did. <laughs> he like barely survived. Where's my final time off? I don't need to do this in any certain amount of time. So I don't eat the regular guy. I feel like I need a different outfit though for this melee and tomahawk thing. This isn't like this outfit screams more like gunslinger than masked craziness. <laughs> That's what I need. I need a mask. That's my hat. Hello, little hat. And then just drive right down the hill. Perfect. Yeah, one time I was able to just get on the wagon and the rest of that was over. That's how close that thing spawned to my camp. It was like inside of my camp. I just hopped on the wagon. Done. Didn't even move it an inch. Nice work. All right, let's get our hunting wagon out here. Give Cripsies two deer. And be done with roll challenges for the day. Oh, and before I forget. Supplies are good. I'm a happy man. Very nice. Nine of nine. All nine roll challenges complete. For yet another day. Whatever that Maggie Fike's been saying about me, it's all lies. Most of it, anyway. Last travel with strawberry, I suppose, to get down to this next metal detector spot. <clears throat> Maybe we'll stop and see Crips again for another resupply before the end of the stream.
Alright, so we got a gold eagle. We got a Liberty Quarter. Now we see a New York token. But I'll take more gold eagles and Liberty Quarters too. <laughs> Diablo Ridge here. Another melon toucher spot. Here along the river, there's gonna be another random metal detector spot.
point over at Limpany today. We'll go grab that. They're gonna bother putting the map on. Trying to vent across the way. Yeah. Shine bootlegger, but let's skip that one. It's probably not a roadblock. And we already got our three for our daily, so. Make up some mint wall over here. But let's grab this coin. I wish I was a blood money crime over there, not a moonshine bootlegger, but... Yeah. Oh well. Hey, Gen X, how's it going? Howdy. I don't think I marked this one correctly. How many I did? You've been busy, man. I've been seeing, like, getting tons of notifications from you. You're doing lots of streams, huh? Tests and stuff? Okay. Yeah, I haven't been able to pop by. I've just been busy doing a lot of Forbidden West. And usually I'm sleeping when you're streaming, but I saw you were on, uh... I guess it was around 6 a.m. my time, which normally I'd be able to watch, but I snuck in some Forbidden West instead. So, sorry I missed you, but I was busy playing. I've got some creeping time in there too. The big three. The mint, the oregano, and the time. Alright, we're going over to Valentine. There's a coin under a clothesline. I'm gonna try to do a stream in 4K, nice.
little tighter spot. So we're gonna keep it rolling, trying to get these coins. I have nothing to sell to the butcher this time. Just fast enough for us to go again. I don't have any coin sets left after selling three. <laughs> yeah. You got some catching up to do. If you want to catch up to me on that one. But, I'm struggling, so. <laughs> Now's the time to try and catch up to me. <laughs> no, seriously, man, it's no joke. It's, uh, it is the grind to end all grinds. This coin stuff. I feel defeated by it, and I feel like, you know, a lot of people look to me to, like, grind these things out. But this is a whole other level of grind, man, it's freaking, I don't, th I don't think anybody's ever met to get this particular award. <laughs> yeah. It is both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> but I don't know, man. It's kind of my thing. I started doing uh, Forbidden West again all over. I'm grinding that out now, trying to get Aloy ranked up enough before I go do Burning Shores again. It's, uh, it's kind of like. It's what I do, especially if it's a game I like. I saw actually I have 500 hours in Forbidden West, and that's on the second PS. So I'm pretty sure I've got like a thousand hours in that game now too. Where is this thing? It should be right here somewhere. Am I just not getting the prompt? That's why I wasn't getting the prompt. Ah, uh, it's just the regular 1792 core. Don't fall off the cliff. Settle down with yourself. Yeah. I go 
this way. I don't want to lose this hideout that's over here. Ooh, excuse me, sorry. Let's go this way. Doing mostly melee and executions for the other things I'm encountering. A little bit of throwing knives. I may have shot one or two guys during a campground defense. Child. Can't wait to see Stab another animal. Was that a rat? Early, earlier, Gen X, I stabbed a skunk. <laughs> it like adds a whole new definition to the the one behind me, or the one in front of me. What was that? Friggin' muskrat? Something I can collect? A rat. A brown rat. I stabbed a brown rat. <laughs> I've used this to kill somebody. <laughs> Then knife back out, let's go. Let's get these last two guys. You are surrounded. I wanna push somebody over the edge this? here. Okay, hold on. The knife out of here. to do. I was hoping to get the lasso out and time up, but that was what I did instead. Regular charnel house. You must be so proud. Oh I got a treasure map. Friggin' sweet dude. Yeah right. I don't, I don't believe you. Well let me do this. Kill me, spare me. Just don't waste my time. Uh. It's good stuff, man. It's real good stuff.
Alright, over to Chess Porter. Coin under that windmill today. I don't want to take this big up and around though. We're going to take the bridge to about here, I guess. Let's go across the train tracks. Now that my shotgun headshots are done, it's like melee and executions and certain situations, I guess I'll break out the sniper rifle again. But other than the sniper rifle, I got no use for a gun. Oh, there's a wards all mixed up. Yates. Maybe reset that one tomorrow. At the rate we're going here. And the throwing weapons is way behind. But yeah, I'd like, I would really like to get these two. And this one going. Those four would be nice. Or three, whatever it was. I think what the game throws at us too. I don't see myself doing a melee only solo CTA. Maybe. <laughs> that would be wild. Be fun to see how far I could get though. for today though today in an American and then kind of a long ride in this next one I'll take all the way back into the heartlands I might go back to camp actually if I can get a camp a uh, wilderness camp go back to ooh Manazar's there close enough. Yeah, dude, freaking the next spot's a like great right across from camp. We'll see if we can get a wilderness. This normally isn't the best area for that. Take this back to good old regular camp. And they'll be right near that next spot. Right on the H in Hanover. That's my partner. Best traders in the way. Check and see what Crips is doing. Yeah, just a couple twenty minutes. Twenty more minutes for the next resupply.
Emily and Cory, uh, Emily and Coral earrings have been hot today. I've seen that a couple times. Exactly. What is the house that's on the map, though? Oh, it's not a house. It's this little. Jeez. dollar. It's five of those. Can I please get a New York token? A uh, coin. Hey, Hillbilly, how's it going? Uh, at this point, we are going around the map, just looking for coins and seeing what else we can find. Um, now that I've got my shotgun kills and shotgun headshot kills all maxed out, it's been mostly melee uh, and then throwing weapons. Like, if it's a mounted enemy and I know that they're not going to get off the horse, then obviously can't melee them, so I just need to throw them.
In the case of defend the campsites, though, like the one I'm hearing right now, we've been doing like regular loadout kind of stuff. I tried it with sniper rifle, there's just no way. I, I lack the skills to sniper rifle uh, campground defense. Back to my preferred neighbors. But yeah, that's it. Mostly just chilling. Late start. So, maybe we'll go... I don't know. I'm thinking about more. I might do just a standard time frame here. Four, five, six hours. Even with the late start. Game doesn't be, seem to be throwing too much at us today. to our collector search, but just got done repacking the tractor bucket cylinder <laughs> sitting around, nice. Yeah, I'm basically just lazing around here. Get on the horse, dude. Bring me past where I wanted to go. Oh no, we're just coming from a different angle now because I did the camp around the fence, that's why. That makes sense.
Damn, see those Emily and Coral earrings? I feel like they're everywhere today. Metal detector spot in the swamp. Be nice to see the uh, Sun Gator. Sun Gator, Tiger Gator. I haven't seen either one of them in like forever. Don't even remember the last time I saw them. Never seen one in the wild? A gator? I've seen a gator. Once. One time. Hey Monet, how's it going? Yeah, my, my grandparents lived in Florida for a really long time. Up until just a couple years ago. Not too far from Lake Okeechobee. So, I went one time and checked it out. I was just walking around. There's like a... They call it a hiking trail. It's not really a hiking trail. It's paved. It's more like a paved bike path than anything else. And in one of the uh, canals there, there was a gator just chilling. So. But yeah, I've only been before a couple times. Well, a handful of times. I never got the really chance to hike up until that one year. I did a couple different hikes around like their area. Alright, into Saint Denis, over this way, another metal detector, another bridge. Where are we at? 32 of 48, so 16 more. We're doing okay, I can't complain too much. I got a couple gold eagles and uh, Liberty Quarter. Now we see a New York token. Good day. not to jump randomly. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Hello.
Thinking of buying story mode, seeing all the shorts on it, and one in the woods. Internet is unable to run online, but yeah, I think it's worth it, man. If you like, if you like what you're seeing, I honestly think story mode's top five game of all time for me. Um, you know, maybe even number one. It's hard to say though. It's hard to compare games from like my childhood to games I'm playing today in my 40s, but it's up there for sure. I think everyone who enjoys games should check it out. Yeah, it's always it's always different. But for me it's like I mean I always think about my room and my parents' first house, or at least the first house I lived in. Playing like Nintendo and Super Nintendo games, like I talk about it a lot. I'll always think of A Link to the Past, Zelda, A Link to the Past. Like that was just I'd spend hours playing that game. That and like F Zero and Super Mario World, and NBA Jam, whatever my friends would come over. Like, I had quite a heyday, <laughs> I would say, on uh, Super Nintendo. And they're fun. I, I thought it was fun to go back and play those games recently. Uh, I even found some Zelda games I had played when I was younger. I like the older Zelda games better than the newer Zelda games, personally. But, you know, like you're saying, probably 90% of that's nostalgia. The Power Glove for Tyson's punch out, yeah. yeah. It's so funny to me that we're actually going to get to see that play out for real. <laughs> with, with, uh, what's his face there, Jake Paul? But yeah, the stuff that you thought was good back in the day it is never as good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Was that, the, was that a regular panther? Oh, it's just a regular panther. I thought I was gonna be the legendary Nightwalker Panther. But we'll take whatever this is. Like, I used to love um, Sean MacGyver. Quantum Leap. You go back and watch those now, you're like, golly, this is lame. But for the time, it was cool. Or at least I remember it being cool for the time. <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, I want Zelda to do a remake of A Link to the Past for the Switch. I think that'd be cool. I think Morgan would play it. 
Yeah, we'll we'll see. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's still got it, and his hand probably still weighs a ton of bricks. But the age thing, I feel like that's the only thing that kind of has me going. We'll see. But I I think it's gonna be over quickly. I think he's gonna just. Someone will take a fall, get paid, and take a fall. I honestly probably won't even watch it. I know it's like big news, but. Yeah, that'll that'll be the problem. It's gonna it's gonna go one of two ways. Either it's gonna go over in thirty seconds after like one or two punches <laughs> in Tyson's favor, or I just think the stamina. The biggest thing is the stamina. Not that I doubt that Mike Tyson is a beast still to this day, and, and you know he could probably. Uh, he could probably take 99.9% .9 of the men his own age, but... Does he have the stamina to keep going? If it, if it in fact, doesn't end in the first 30 seconds? But yeah, I won't probably pay for that. I probably won't watch it, but I'll be tuned into the news after the fact because it's sure to be all over social media. Whatever the result. Yeah. But in a way, he fits in with this whole, like, nonsense for views kind of thing. This whole, that's what this whole thing is, right? It's like, because, you know, if it was anybody else, like, you'd be like, oh, they shouldn't do that. That's going to tarnish their legacy. But that, that's like, that is his legacy. Like, crazy shit. This <laughs> has been ties to the MO for, like, the longest time. So... And that's why I think it's going to be a huge draw, right? Because you're going to get the guys like you're talking about, right? The, the Gen Xers who uh, grew up watching him fight. And then you're going to get the people that just want to tune in to watch, you know, whatever craziness might ensue happen aspect of it. I give credit to whoever put the whole thing together in the first place. You know, the promoters on either side. Both sides, I guess. Because it's going to be, I mean, I don't doubt, like I said, I probably won't watch it, but I don't doubt that it's going to break all kinds of pay-per-view records. Yeah, same. I, I, would not, I would definitely not fight him. And I'm 20 years younger than him. Like I said, he could probably still, you know, murder 99.99% .99 of the people who would try to go up against him, but... I don't know. Yeah, Gen Xers. Other other Gen Xers. <laughs> I mean, I guess it depends on the payday, too. Like, not that anyone's paying to watch me fight anybody, but... Guaranteed million payday? I'll let him punch me in the face a few times. <laughs> and then never have to work ever again. Be like, 
Look, Mike, just don't rip my head off, okay? Don't kill me, don't leave me paralyzed. I'd like to be able to walk around and use my million dollar payout, <laughs> but anything else is fine. <laughs> Poacher mission back there, we're gonna skip that. There's no award for those. You can get the melee kills and whatnot, but nah. Not right now. Oh my gosh, let's go all the way back over to Torts Emerald. Why didn't I just grab that one while I was there, man? Hey, New York token. Woohoo! Let's go to Valentine and sell that. Actually, uh, does it make sense to go to Emerald? I mean, Valentine, then fast travel, or just go to Emerald? Let's just go to Emerald. It's kind of back in the way we just came. I don't understand why the root generator had to go that way. What are you going to do? I'm interested in that whole Tyson thing, just not that interested. I like, I like boxing when it's free. I don't like boxing enough to pay for it. If he wins, he'll run as Trump's VP. <laughs> Is it going to be on YouTube? I wonder. Well, then, maybe we have that option. <laughs> that would be, oh my gosh, a Trump Tyson ticket for 2024. That would be amazing. And not because I plan to vote for them, but <laughs> I don't... I don't plan necessarily to vote for the other guys either. At this point, it's just like, whatever, man. Freaking entertain me. But, you know, make it entertaining.
Yeah. <laughs> I still say, dude, to this day, one of my favorite ever trash talks was when Tyson said, I'm going to F you till you love me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest freaking thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, who thinks of that? It would be funny to watch the press. That's what he should do. Instead of having him as his VP, Trump should make him his press secretary. Be entertaining as hell, man. All right, let's sell this coin set. Welcome, welcome. You got postage? It all set to go. Thirty-eight. Chipping away. Chipping away. We're chipping away. Her whale. All right, and then there's another coin up at the Emerald yeah. or uh, Heartlands Moonshine Shack. Uh, there's a few, like all the collector ones I have, but no, there's a few, like there's, there's some pretty crazy ones, like resupplies, you have to do a thousand, I'm at 888, I think, I haven't reset that one yet, but that's not even the craziest one. I think one of them's like, thousand Capitale notes collected or something ridiculous like that, Capitale. There, there's quite a few ridiculous ones, so. I don't actually, I don't plan to get all of them. There's, there's some I know I'll never get. I should be able to do all the naturalist ones at some point. I need to I need to suck it up and just go try and get these wetland these snakes. And the legendary ones too. I just gotta I gotta go do more Harriet missions. So those those two we can definitely reset at some point in the future. Moonshiner we've reset all of them. We're just waiting to fill out these two completely. Bounty hunter, a thousand dead. Bounty targets. I mean, I can't even believe it did a thousand alive ones, but a thousand dead ones is pretty nuts. And then a hundred player bounties. Maybe. I'm sure some people have that one that have reset it. I, I hardly ever do player bounties, though. Collector ones, all of them are reset. This is the only one we haven't maxed out on this page, which is what I'm attempting to do right now. That's the coins. Trader, we talked about the resupplies. That's the only one that's lagging behind. Sharpshooter, I think we did a bunch. Maybe the player kills, kill players from behind. I was doing pretty good on this one for a while. When you set up the poker table lobby, a lot of times you have to kill one of the two characters. It's usually the one that started the, the poker table lobby. And I had been for a while starting it with my female character, so he has a bunch of these. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's 573. I think I may have just killed Nick and just PvP randomly. But that one that one's doable, even though I haven't done it yet. This one, probably never do. We used to do this thing when um whenever it was infighting, posse infighting was a thing. We would all just stand there and throw dynamite. And at some point I was like, oh we should have done it in Deadeye. Like we should we should have do always do this one in Deadeye. Assist. 
probably never going to happen. So yeah, there, there's a bunch of them. I'm not going to go through all of them, but there's a, there's quite a few that just never reset. But that being said, I want to do as many of them as possible as well. So just keep grinding it out. Capitale. What was the... Yeah, hold on. Now that I said that, I do want to see the Capitale one. I think it's a thousand, which is outrageous. I mean, you'd have to just, you know, farm that Jeb Phelps. Yeah, look at this. A thousand Capitale notes. 300 of them. You have to farm Jeb Phelps too, and just take the four every time. And then go into um, an opportunity every time you get like 15 or 25, whatever, however you want to do it. That would take forever. Maybe it's doable one time. You're not going to max it out, but like maybe you could reset it one time. I don't know. So for those of you who don't know, Jeb Phelps 2, there's always four Capitale on top of the... Maybe not always. 99% of the time, there's four Capitale on top of the shack that you have to light on fire. <laughs> yeah, no, not, not going to do that. If I was going to do it, I would have done it last month. That was the month to do it, when Blood Money was on bonus, but no way. I, mean, I I know how I can, how much of a heck of a time you guys had just to try and get it set up to get that 6,000 XP bug. It was taking you guys like an hour, hour and a half, just to farm that uh, mission. That Jeb Phelps too. So I'll just keep collecting them as I go. I'll pay a little more attention to it, like if I'm maxed out. Make sure I go in and do a couple opportunity missions. Clear out my Capitale from my satchel. It's really the only way I can think to do it. But I don't know. Blood Money's been out for almost three years, right? It'll be three years in July. And I still only have 300 notes collected. That should tell you all you need to know about that. What's, what's, the, what's the pace there? Like 360. Yeah, it's like 10 per month. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> if you played this game for 10 years, maybe you'd reset it one time, but, unless, unless you're farming, which I, I don't recommend at all, do not farm Capitale, <laughs> Capitale. I don't even recommend anybody do this, I don't know how the hell I got caught up doing this. I said I would never do this, and here I am. So, nah, who knows? Maybe I will do eventually to farm Jeb Phelps to Capitale. Never say never. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ranked up 555 to 567 because of Blood Money Month. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. 12 ranks is pretty good in a month. I think while I was at a point, granted, I would play for like 10, 12 hours a day. But when I was still like rank 555, I was still ranking up once, twice every day. It wasn't until I got to like the 700s, 800s, where I was like, okay, maybe we do a rank every other day. <laughs> And then 900 was like, okay, I'm just going to rank up whenever I get it. That's fine. And then that last one, 999 to 1,000, because of how much XP you need. 18 days. So, you got to be ready to grind. If you want to be rank 1,000, you got to be ready to grind for a solid year straight. Like I said, 6, 8, 10, 12 hour days. And get the XP. You know, forget about gold, forget about money, just go after the stuff that has the high XP. You don't cry for anything? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. But, you know, I enjoy the game this way, too. Like, if I didn't enjoy riding around the map in the first place, I wouldn't be doing this. It's not like I'm going out of my way to do something I don't enjoy. Like, even while I'm sitting here talking and cinematic, I'm watching, like, you know, riding through the trees. It's, it's cool. Not everybody might think so, but I think it is, so it's all that really matters. 
still do my dailies. I'm still gonna hunt this cougar and throw in the hunting wagon. Yeah. Along with the panther I got earlier. Where is she? Come out of hiding, you can do it. Two star, stop it. I killed this thing perfect. Get out of here. Your XP is now thirty thousand per rank up. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. I think up until I got to like the 40s, like mid 40s, 45,000 XP per day to rank up. That's when I was like, okay, I can't, I can't do 45,000 XP every, every day anymore. And then I started to slow down. But like I said, it's a commitment, man. You gotta have the free time to be able to do it. And you gotta enjoy it. Like. I wouldn't just grind for XP, just grind for XP. I'm grinding for XP in a game that I love because I love the setting and I like the weapons and the horses and stuff like that, so. I don't do this in every game. There's like maybe five or six games I do this in. And most of the other ones I put down for a while and then just pick them back up. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It, no one, no one's type of fun is for everybody. It's for them. And that is just fine. Do you, boo boo? As my wife would say. Do what makes, do what makes you happy. If it makes you happy, Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Who I don't even like. But the song makes sense. All right, we got seven more of these. And I gotta start thinking about what I want to do after this, because game's not really giving us a whole lot to do, and I don't. This might end up being like a regular stream. It's three hours, eighteen minutes at this point. I, you know, I don't see myself going beyond four hours if we don't find something to do. I don't know. I don't want to play a bunch of free roam events. I definitely don't want to do trade route. That's in eleven minutes. So this this might end up not being a marathon stream after all. I think probably what I would do is save my energy and then stream again tomorrow. Which tomorrow I might actually get started early. Normally I wouldn't get started till like 8 o'clock my time because the kids are still around in the house. But tomorrow, whatever time I get up, get some breakfast real quick, and jump in the game, start streaming. Could be live as early as 6 a.m. tomorrow. But we'll see. Still gotta do those two PvP dailies if I decide I want to. Yeah, <laughs> more about the social thing. Yeah, it's a like a weird thing too for me. I, you know, I I I will have like this weird. I guess juxtaposition of wanting to be left alone until I decide I want to be the center of attention, which is very hard for people to navigate. I give credit to my wife for being able to navigate it as well as she has. Um, what the hell is this one? I'm struggling with this map today, man. Um, you know, like, we'll go to parties and stuff. I, I'm, I'm just as likely to sit in the corner and not say a word to anybody. As I am to like get on the table and start twerking <laughs> for attention. <laughs> Two extremes, there's, and there's really no in between. I just I love my quiet time, and I love being the center of attention when I decide I want to be. So that's why I'm doing this, right? It's like perfect balance of me playing solo, but also getting social interaction via the way of the internet and, and YouTube.
<laughs> Free drinks off the year off of there. <laughs> yeah. Half the time I don't even need the alcohol to do it. by the bootleg. <laughs> Alright, well we're going that way. Gold quarter, nice. What's that? Six. Let's go melee these dudes. Yeah. Let me take a tonic! There's a hundred of you, there's only one of me. So dumb. Ouch. <laughs> the one guy took a swing. Oh boy! Everyone's burning! Everything's on fire! Did that, wait, did he get shot by his other guy too? Or There's so many lanterns at this one. My goodness. This whole place is gonna be on fire. You look like you wanna go over a cliff. Get out of here. Back for you later. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting to do. There we go. That'll help. Don't shoot the lantern. Don't shoot the lantern. I can't hide over here, this place is already burning. Buddy, look at your buddy got torched. I got this guy pushed over the place. Oh no, I'm stuck on something. And then I saw my hat was over there somewhere. Yeah. Dude, look at his foot. Look, how did his foot end up like that? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say what I'm what I'm thinking. Just don't don't say it out loud. Just don't say it. <laughs> Good times. We gotta go up here. My little black bear spot. We'll go up through Innisburg, take the train tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Good God. Good God, he says. Good God.
Let's not go too far though, because then we're gonna go all kinds of crazy through the woods. Oh my goodness, all the way across, all, this, all these other things are by strawberry. You know what we're going to do though? We're going to do them in reverse order. From what the game has. Alright, so back down in is for, for fast travel. Fast travel over strawberry. Three more. Two of them are metal detector spots, and then one is a dedicated coin spot. That's at the uh, what do they call that? Barrel's Dream, I think. The, the mine where Arthur or John, I suppose, encounters the bounty. That you have to keep him alive by shooting him in the arm, and he's a really quick shot. So I usually die at that one. <laughs> Duel. Let's see, duel. Alright, hello, strawberry. While we're fast traveling, I'm gonna step away for a second. I'll be right back. back going over here by the friggin gauntlet of snakes you ever notice that this whole like stretch right here a million snakes sometimes but yeah we'll go get that one coin of barrel stream and then there's a um, random metal detector just outside of hunt uh, hang a dog ranch so it's our last three. Oh, watch out Evening. Evening. Why doesn't that lantern work? Or this one. The lanterns on this side of the bridge don't work. They catch on fire in CTAs, though. Not even on right now. Watch, I'm gonna come in front of this guy as they tell me to move. Hurry up, you got people moving. Yeah.
All right, Hillbilly, thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Hey Adam, how's it going? Use that stretch of road for snakes and story for the rattlesnakes. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, it's a good, I mean, I always forget about it on a day when snakes are daily too, but that's it right there. That in the um, north of the heartland or uh, oil fields, I feel like is usually a pretty good spot too. We'll see, we'll count them as we're over here, just because I said it. There probably won't be any. <laughs> Well, let's see. Tentally on that road, so I don't know if that counts. <laughs> in here. Last one. No 
Where am I? Only one back? Well, I'm not gonna do anything with that. Just gonna beat him up with a lantern. Stop it. No, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. I brought a knife to a gunfight, and I'm kicking your ass. <laughs> they do, man. They shoot like stormtroopers for sure. <laughs> Especially when you're in slow and slow, uh, slippy faster. You gotta love it. Oh, don't move too much. I need that tomahawk. I don't like when they're on horses. Stay still so I can throw this at you. Oh, there it is. Come on back. Come back here. Oh, that one hit me. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. I'm waiting to line up a nice shot with this tomahawk because otherwise I can't kill you. Quit running away. Get over here. I might need to go back to paint it black because it's easier to paint when I do have to use a throwable. We'll put that back on just for throwables. It's not like I'm using a ton of um, dead eye and sleeping bastard anyway. So, all right, let's see what we got for treats. Y'all, what y'all get for me? What do you guys got me a treasure map? Mm -hmm. Probably not. I already pulled the treasure map today. I thought I'd pull a second one. It was a weird day that um, three collectibles looted from non player enemies thing was bugged for a little bit and then it worked all of a sudden. Freaking weird. Oh. 
Click up or <laughs> Not so much the dialogue, the actual read. The voice actor is so good. So, so good. Capitale! It's two single notes I pulled today. Did someone forget to turn it off after Blood Money Month? I feel like maybe they did. Oh, look at these guys cuddling in death. So cute. Under the tree. Whoops. Let's get this last metal detector spot over here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just stop and enjoy the sunrise for a second. This is one of these spots that if they offered some kind of like RDO plus where you could pay to have your camp stay at, I would consider it. Strongly consider it. But since you run the risk of having your camp here or just north of Blackwater, I don't even bother picking Big Valley half the time. Freaking wolves, are you kidding me? I'm trying to enjoy nature, not destroy nature. Make sure these dead wolves are in frame. <laughs> Game 
was like, oh, were you enjoying that sunrise? <laughs> Spawning some wolves. Now it's getting cloudy, too. What's going on here? There we go. Come on, baby. Give me those colors. Yes. Okay. Hey, Ellie, how's it going? There's a spot up on the hill where if you... Yeah, yeah. It, eventually it will move, though. I know exactly what you're talking about. It looks almost like Pride Rock from Lion King. And I've done that before. But then, like, two, three days later, crap, I suppose you can't, so... But I, wanna, I would, like, I would pay real money for it to, like, just have it stay here permanently, like, right here. Looking down the valley, towards the rising sun every day, where do I sign up? It's, like, the one thing that I would actually pay real-life money for. <laughs> I mean, that's like a freaking picture. So good. Alright, let's move on. Go slow, though. Just enjoy the sunrise a little bit. The freaking purple flowers, like, this is just so like, perfect. Kudos to whoever designed this area of the map. Uh, yeah, no, nah, yes and no. She, I, I tried to have her in different spots for a while. I even had their, actually right now I still have the Moonshine Shack in different locations. I never did actually test out to see if Blondie gets the Decking Gator. But no, she's in the Heartlands. They both have their camps in the Heartlands. And for a while, they both had their Moonshine Shacks and Tall Trees, so... There was a time when I first made her, first created her, that I was trying to do, like... Give them both different experiences, but... It just became... It's just easier to have both in the same spot. One of these days I'll have five different characters and have them in five different locations. <laughs> Yeah, like a priority camp location. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be Big Valley for everybody. Just let, let people pick where they want to have their camps. Have the system be smart enough to recognize, okay, this person wants their camp in Big Valley every day. We'll need to find a, a lobby where they can be there. If it can move us around to get more players in each lobby, surely it can move us around to make sure we get our camp location we want. I don't know. Uh, let's go, before we do, I'm, I'm probably going to try to do these showdown dailies. Before I do that, though, I want to do a couple treasure maps. Oh, I actually have enough Capitelli to do a Blood Money Opportunity. I'm not going to do that today, but it's good to know. Treasure maps. Uh, let's do this one. I thought I had more than that. I have two treasure maps that I can use. For any one drop, we'll save for if it's a daily. Not too far from where we are. Treasure maps, a couple showdown dailies. And then maybe we'll call it. I was thinking I might do a little marathon today, but. I tried to slow things down and do melee kills, but I don't know how much time that actually. how much more time that actually took than just using a gun. I guess it's not like it used to be where I could spend. 10, 12 hours in here doing stuff, trying to rank up. I'm a lazy rank 1000er these days. <laughs> Oops. 
You only see Great Plains and the Grizzlies full in public lobby. You understand Great Plains and Grizzlies? Yeah, I don't understand. Maybe because it's limited spots. It shouldn't be, though. It shouldn't be the limited spots. I feel like every time I have a Grizzlies camp, I'm either just north of the oil fields or uh, Katora Springs. I feel like those are the only two Grizzly spots that they, that they give you. That's probably what it is. It's probably limited spots to begin with. Once one or two players are in there, then that's it. Let's check over here real quick. Oh, is that it? Did I get it right away? Ha, look at that. I almost went right past it. I was like, let me check this spot. I don't want to come back. And this is where it is. Like anywhere around Beecher's Hope, Camp of Tall Trees. Yeah, I know. I, um, I actually, I don't mind Tall Trees. One point two two. That's pretty average. All right, and then one more. There's a cool shot here too. I love this this area. I wish there was like campsites along this ridge, but there's really not. And it's not. What even is this? Is this West Elizabeth still? Is this a Big Valley? Yeah, technically this is a Big Valley. I'm surprised that there's no camps here. I know there's a ton of them over by Wallace, but I don't think there's ever one like right here or even over here. Right along this river would be sweet. It's like one of my favorite spots in the game. All right, Burnt Town. We just picked this one up today. Whoa, 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 dude! What in the world? <laughs> I thought we were going over, man. Look at this. It made me move forward because the stupid road to agent roadblock up there. But I didn't think the horse would go over the cliff. What are you doing, Punisher, man? So like even the treasure maps, I feel like I thought I had more of these, so just kind of finding stuff to do. It's, it's tough, man. I think, you know, part of me in the back of my mind, I'm like, I got Forbidden West stuff I want to do, so I think maybe we'll get this treasure map. Attempt to do these showdown dailies and then call it. I'm looking for mercy. I'm killing you guys with a tomahawk. You I mean, a lot of times to fire that dialogue. Oh, right in the crotch, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you're circumcised at birth, but you sure are now. We're going over. Oh, I thought we were going over. Oh, yes, yeah, slide down, slide down, slide down. Here, get, get out of here. Get out of here. Look at you stabbing at nothing. <laughs>
that it? Yep, ambush cleared. Sweet. Quite a few ambushes today. Columbus Cove online camp with a full big posse is kind of cool, especially at night. Yeah. That's like, and that's like, like I said, the kind of stuff I would pay for. Like, I literally would pay for that camp and then, like, just chill with friends in the camp. But, like, look, guys, we're just hanging out around camp tonight. Look at, dude, look at what I did to this guy. Is that blood running down the rock, or is that the way the rock always is? Oh, dude, that's, that's sick. <laughs> that, uh, dude. That is amazing attention to detail. Unless that's how the rock always looks, but I feel like it's not. I feel like it's dry blood. Yeah, <laughs> I gave him a taste of their own medicine. That's freaking cool, man. I, I couldn't have done that if I tried. And even now, like, I was trying to kick the guy to get him off of here, but that's pretty cool that he's like that. Start cutting off body parts. <laughs> Ooh, what a twist the, this stream took. Uh, have I seen the movie Pre No, is that um is that a Predator serious movie? I should see it. I love all things Predator. And I think it's cool that they finally like instead of Predator twelve or whatever, they, they went that route with it. Um I may have seen that for free recently on like Amazon or Netflix or something. I might need to check again. Yeah, yeah, I. I Somehow I missed that one, but I've seen like the trailers and I think it looks good. It looks cool. Maybe I'll watch it tonight if I can find it for free because you know I'm cheap. Maybe I'll spring a buck ninety nine for it or whatever. Get one of those two day rentals. Oh, it's only on Hulu? Yes, that's the that's one of the few ones we don't own. That and like Paramount, I think are like the ones we don't own. Point eight two, come on now. It's nothing. It's peanuts. Alright, I need to make sure guns are clean. And I might actually, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do this. I felt like it was easier to get into these showdowns. Whoa. Oh, there we go. So much easier to get into these showdowns the other day from a public lobby.
Okay, where it is. good, but I know this isn't going to help me. What did I have on before? Eye for an eye? That's not going to help either, though. Already on. I mean, I just gotta leave it the way it is. Place top three, any showdown, player kills and dead end showdowns, okay. So it doesn't really matter. Uh not hardcore. Let's try this. There we go, right in. Look at that. Probably lobby collecting you like unblinking eye for a long eagle eye. Yeah, the dead eye drain slower too could be a good thing. I need to look into that. I haven't used unblinking eye before. I was using eye for eye because I was focusing on headshots with the stroke with the shotgun headshot kills. But now that that's over, and there's no like throwing weapon headshot kills. Do I even, can I even get what I want in this? I don't think I can. I think I have to start from the beginning. shot <laughs> one kill <laughs> got here just in time to get one kill that'd be a great shot if this dude's head wasn't in the way spider monkey
standard weapons. That he was in here the other day. Alright, so now it's gotta be on the winning team in order to get the top three. Or get an actual top three, which I doubt. And get my kills in Dead Eye. Horses? I don't know if I'm familiar with this game mode. Oh, you're only on this for a little bit, right? Because then you get off to get on the train. I am familiar with this game. Uh, oh, Explosives, but I will. Oh, I thought he left.
Looks like a good team, man. Why, can't, why does it never put me on the team with the cheaters? <laughs> put me on the team with the guy that had 50 kills and two deaths last week. Oh, I know, I know this one. This one I've done before. I actually got loaded into this one last week when the stream crashed. Last! Dude, no way! Come on now! <laughs> I'm in the process of ducking. So how come, how does the person who I kill spawn in right behind me, but then whenever I get killed, I spawn on a different side of the freaking map? Okay. See what I'm saying? 
other side of the map. Why not right back where I was, just like when they got killed. Haha, uh -huh, missed. Cool, good job. See? Pr exactly what I was just talking about. First of all, the dynamite sneaks in behind. But that doesn't make any sense. And how does one team have all these different freaking locations? Come on, man. How is what I did any different from what he did? Get down. Oh, come on, I'm in the middle of killing her, dude. You get your freaking turn, you jackass. Good, I distracted them long enough that hopefully my teammates can get them. Headshot and she survives. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. The people who do this all day just cheat. I don't. I don't understand it. Like, what enjoyment are you getting out of that? Out of cheating all day. Take that, you bitch! With no time left, shut the fuck up. Stupid fucking game. I just don't understand why did it switch me into a sawed-off. Did I pick one up somewhere by accident? 
I don't understand why I would have done that if I had two Navy revolvers going into it. Twenty nine to six, dude. Come on, and twenty. How, okay, twenty nine six, twenty two to two. How do the cheaters always end up on the same freaking team, man? That's what I don't understand. Like they have some kind of code to like help them get more kills per death, and then they also can, like it allows them to join the same team together. It's freaking ridiculous. Like, hey man, hey man, I'm gonna go with my Cronus. You go and meet with yours too. We'll get on the same team together. We're just gonna run it all day, yeah. <laughs> so dumb. They need to have a separate list of dailies for PvP. No, that's not that's not it. Cuz I've gone in with posses before and it splits you up. And it's like every time. It's not like uh free roam events where if you go in with a posse, you you stay with the posse. That I can understand, but showdowns, I should definitely be splitting people up. Yeah. Well, and that's, I mean, that's what it is, right? It's like griefers in public lobbies and, and cheaters in here. Like, they're so obsessed with their kill-to-death ratio, it's unbelievable. It's like, it's the only thing that matters to them. I don't even want to be in here right now. I just come in here to get the, try and get dailies done. If I got my dailies, I'm backing out. I don't think I got top three there, though. Who knows? You have to be able to get on the winning team. And the cheaters don't allow you to do that. Like, the fact that, you know, they control all the territories on that train in the previous one with four minutes still left on the clock. Like, we're not even out of roads yet, and they got all the cars. <laughs> like, it's just, it's outrageous. Don't make it so blatantly obvious, that's all I ask. Where the hell is my team? We don't need three people holding down one friggin' location, you know?
Alright, you're gonna stay here? You stay here, I'll go. Dude, do you see what I'm talking about? I turn a corner like that? Come on, this is not possible, man. Like, just turn it down a little bit, dude. Yeah, that's exactly, exactly what just happened to me. They shot me, they, what, they paint me through the boxes? It's like, there's this not, there's just no way. There, I couldn't even shoot for a second. Who? Okay, who's shooting me? Dude, stop it. Just let it go, man. <laughs> let's, see, let's see how ridiculous the kill to death ratio is this time on some of these guys. freaking dude you're a loser I don't care how much you think you're good at this game you are an effing loser man Yeah, and that person has some kind of thing where it like swings you off of their headshots. That's that's beautiful. At least that's something new I haven't seen before. That's interesting. Oh, I don't have audio why don't I have audio oh I know why okay I'm back audio is back that was crazy I have no dead eye I'm not gonna even bother taking a dead eye So dumb. Pistol kills the other day. I kept getting killed by Carcano so far away. It took a while. Yeah, well, and this is, I mean, this is place top three. There's no way with these dudes in here cheating like this. So I might just have to forfeit on this one. Our team is not going to win.
Right, because that's one thing you used to be able to rely on, like, even if you didn't have a good match, and I'm not a very good PvP player, but if you got on a good team, you can still get that top three. Well, it's like, now you can't even do that because, like I said, somehow these assholes shuffle each other around so that they always end up on the same team together. 15 to nothing. Look at this Detroited. Detroit Red, whatever. 15 to nothing, dude. Stop it. And then who was the other one that was kind of, like, cheating a little bit that I thought... That may uh, driving you wild. Eleven to three. The fifteen to nothing is just absolutely ridiculous, though. I wish it would rank you according to your team. Like if I got top three in my team, which I did, then I should get credit for the daily. <laughs> fifteen kills and zero deaths. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy I didn't end up in a situation like that in my life where. Being the, the quote unquote best Red Dead player is like a thing. Oh, God, you know. PvP match, man. I killed it today. You guys can't even touch me. And then, of course, Rockstar, right? Put a system in place to let people actually kick people and not just join right back in. Because, like, that's what happens, too. It's like, I don't feel motivated to go and try and kick into these fools. <laughs> the king of Red Dead. I'm the king of Red Dead. Shuffle everybody around so that all the cheaters end up on the same team. <laughs> Hashtag Rockstar Matchmaking. Yeah, I would love to. That's what I'm hoping for. I gotta pray to the gods of Red Dead cheating. Red Dead cheaters. The Red Dead cheater gods. Please, please. I have seen what you have done for others and I want that for myself. <laughs> I love that freaking meme. Oh, rare old edition. How quickly can they capture the cars this time? Start your stopwatch. Don't blink. My dumb ass keeps coming in, swinging his gun around like he's gonna do something. <laughs> like, dude, just stop. <laughs> uh, all this for some stupid award that I'm gonna get eventually anyway. <sighs> Yep, still there. Still waiting on my daily challenge. Plays top three in a showdown. I guess we'll take some meat this time. And I guess we'll tonic up just to get started. But does it matter? No. Let's see. I just so badly want to blow that up and kill that person. <laughs> it's a terrible spot for me to be in, but well, it's the only spot I have. Get off my train. How long does it take for me to capture it? Like, have I captured it at this point? Dude, I'm the last one got back there, I don't like it. Get a 
in there? Nope. See, that, that person has some shadiness going on, where it's like, you can't paint their head. Now I hit the freaking box. Go for it. <laughs> Driving you wild, because I got some Cronus on that you can't headshot me. Some kind of protection spell, like this is friggin' fantasy game. The whole thing just drives me nuts. It's like there's not even any attempt to actually like play the game the way it's designed. We're just supposed to shoot each other. Come on, dude, let's go. Me and you, buddy. Get some of these back. Nope. Impossible. Cause this dude's gotta one tap everybody. <laughs> Why can't I wanna be on that dude's team next time? He's gonna freaking one tap everybody, let me be on his side. Get yourself a blocker and head for the end zone. How long do I have to be on these things for it to count as me claiming it? Oh, incendiary is really driving you wild. It's not enough for you to have the protection spell around your head. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to take tonics anymore. If anything, I was taking it for the dead eye, but... What is that, dude? Okay, good one. My teammates got her. What? Dude, thank God. Freaking unbelievable. Look at this. They're gonna take over every freaking thing again. What exactly do you have to do to take over these? Jump, jump! Before the bridge! Yes! Freaking headshot doesn't kill her, are you kidding me? Like, stop it. Just stop it. Did they get him? Did they get all of them? And I don't understand how they got all of them. Oh, nice! We got a whole bunch now. Yes! Let's go! We probably have 9 million people on our team. Get that last one! We got you! I'll distract them. Y'all keep getting the freaking things. Cars, whatever. Train cars. Let's go, get me back in here. Yep, yep, exactly, perfect. Hold on to those freaking cars. Where? <laughs> Dude.
Make it orange, now. Like, how, how long does it take for it to go orange? Come on, man. Tell me we got him. Was it even? Hey, we won! Hey, that's top three on the winning team. So that should be it, right? I mean, no more need for this nonsense. I think I'm out, regardless. I gotta feed the dog. Hey, I got it. I'm out of here. Freaking nonsense. Excuse me. Well, I'd love to say that last part was fun, but it most definitely was not. And it never is. But the non PvP 7 for 7 days are just way too few and far between. But, in the end, 7 for 7, 9 for 9. Let's see where that one's at. Uh, general. 12 more. 12, 12 more of those kinds of days. <laughs> and hopefully they're not all PvP days. Or if they are, at least make them free roam events, man. I feel like somehow people aren't as easy to exploit and cheat in Fear Realm events. And it makes them a lot more fun. But Rockstar was obsessed with these showdowns. And, you know, one day there was like what, three different showdown related PvPs, and you couldn't even get them all in the same one. It's just ridiculous. So, uh, that's gonna do it. What do we do today? Just about five hours. I know I was talking about maybe doing a marathon, but I'm not going to keep doing PvP. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Probably out a little earlier than usual tomorrow. Cheers, everyone. Until next time. Take care.